So I bought a couple of these cheap docky stations. I've had them for a good month now. They are good. Well, pretty good. I got the uh, SSK one and the Fiddy K one. I think they're less than £25 each. They actually have built in clone, which is useful but not always 100% successful. And obviously, you could put a hard drive in each one of them. You can't clone through your computer from one to the other though. You have to unplug it when you clone. Because obviously it just reads them, it gets confused and thinks that it's one drive, I should imagine. I don't know that for certain, but I, I ain't been able to send information from this one to this one yet. But you can't expect that, I don't suppose, on one USB bleed. But anyway, they need the, need the power adapter. And this one takes a USB to USB. Can't remember what USB it is like, and that's the horrible version. The USB. I don't know why they had to put that on, but no, on it works. I prefer that lead though on the Fidico. Well, this SSK is made out of aluminium, so you would imagine it'd be a bit more longer lasting. But anyway, this one has been more reliable, especially on cloning. But they're both pretty good and excellent as docking stations so anyway I'm going to do a clone video on these well I'm going to do the SSK one first I was going to do them both together but I ain't got enough source and target this so just do one at a time make sure you put the right one in the right one this is the source it's got a Windows 11 on it I'm going to try and boot it to this blank one and then try and boot it I'll clone it to this one and then try and boot from it. So as you can see, that one's got windows on it. I'm going to unplug it because you don't want it connected to your computer just in case it tries to write anything to it. And your source, your source has to be less than or equal to the target, otherwise it won't work. This one is a lot easier to use. You just hold it for three seconds, and when the lights flash, you click, press it once. And if it's all set up correctly, it will start doing it. So now it's. Uh, I'll just make sure you can see the lights on there. Once all these lights are full, it's a hundred percent done. This one is a lot, a lot easier to use than the other one. The other ones don't really show you so easy but you'll see that later right so we're at 75 percent now if you have a look it's got three lights lit the grit two green flash ones means that both drawers are operating you've got three lights on 75 percent done and that's the power light well i did forget to mention you've got drive a and drive b so a is always your source b is always your target I have made that mistake myself and wiped to drive, so it's easily done. But anyway, it should be going now. I forgot to mention this one's got a buzzer on it as well. So when it's done, it buzzes, which is very useful. This one doesn't. So I'd say this one's the better machine, but for value for money, they're both good. But well, nearly done, hopefully. And it should beep. I'll try and catch it on camera. Right, that's done then. So I'll just see if it boots now. See if it did an exact copy. Well, I've just got to set this computer up. Obviously, I need the power for it, so I'll have to unplug this. Right, back in a minute. Now it's booting. Looks like it did a good job. Well, it can still fail from here. 
Yep, divorces run into problems. So it ain't done an exact sector by sector pro uh, it might repair itself. Nope. Uh, see if we can fix it anyway, sometimes works. The command prompt. I just put all the pin. Boot rack. Four slow, four stroke. Fix MBR. Oh, sorry. Boot rack. Four slash fix MBR. So it's done that. And then I'm going to put boot rack. Four slash. Rebuild. BCD. Okay, let's, uh, let's try. It might boot up again. It might not. There you go, it's worked. I was going to do the same one now, but I've completely lost interest after doing all that. This one is exactly the same, except it doesn't beep at the end, which makes it a bit, this one a bit better in my opinion. I like that. Because sometimes you forget about it, you hear it, you know it's done. And also the lights are a bit more confusing. Like this one will flash, that one will flash, and then that one will just stay the same. And it's hard to figure out a little bit, but if you leave it for a good hour, you know it's done. Stop it. But so out of the two, I think this one's the better one. But they are both good value for money. They do good copies, but like as you've just seen, they don't do a perfect job. Sometimes the I don't know why they do that. They probably miss a sector, or there might be a bad sector, or something happens, and they don't do a proper proper clone. So if you want a proper clone, you got to buy a duplicator, and they're a bit more expensive. But it works as you see. Just fix your boot. Just fix the MBR and the BCD. Rebuild the BCD and it sometimes works. So that's it.